hii ni database ya MySQL inatumiwa na application ya Android sasa inakuja kesi application hiyo ukipeleka Play Store haitaweza kutumika kwa sababu uh, database yake ipo kwenye local host na ikiwa kwenye local host maana yake uh, users kule online hawawezi wakaitumia database hii kwa sababu ina run kwenye computer yako binafsi kwa hivyo kama application muipeleka kule online kwenye Play Store na nini basi haitaweza kutumika hii database kwa sababu ipo kwenye computer yako binafsi. Kwa hivyo dhumuni la video hii ni kuipeleka database hii online. Ikija online itakuwa hivi. Of course hii ni ni server fulani ambayo tume host database yetu na tukiangalia address hapa ni 00webhost.com. Hii ni free and open source uh, platform kwa ajili ya ku host website pamoja na database. So tutatumia free account kwa ajili ya ku host database. So database yetu hii hapa sasa hivi na run kwenye server online. Kwa mazingira haya sasa kama una application ya website au ya Android uh, user anaweza kaitumia kwa sababu inakuja kesi kama website umei host online alafu database ipo kwenye local host haiwezi kutumika application hiyo. Mpaka pale na database na yenyewe itapokuwa online. Lakini pia kuna mafile ya PHP. PHP files nikija katika zampu nikija kwenye hypertext documents HT docs hii ni kama apache hizi ni php files so zinarani kwenye local host na zenyewe uh, zinatakiwa ziende online kule kwa sababu mafali ya php ndio yanatumika ku interact na database kwa yani kama umetengeneza application ya website of course kutakuwa na mafali ya php kama ni website ya php lakini pia mafali ya PHP ni kama API application programming interface ambayo ina ina connect baina ya application ya Android na database. Kwa hizi ni API. So na zenyewe zinatakuwa zijiwe online. So tukizileta huko online zitakuwa namna hii. Umeona? So kiangalia na mafali ya PHP hapa na hii account info, change password, installments, na file la login na message. Uh, now zipo online. So ndio hizi hapa zinaleta kwenye local host so message in message login this is login installments na installments change password.php ndio hii change password so hii ni local host hii ni online so now ukiwa kwenye mazingira kama haya hii application sio lazima kawa ya android inaweza kawa hata website pia unaweza kai uka host website yako hapa database kai host pia hapa na mafali ya php kai host hapa kwa kutumia free and open source account. Okay. So, uh, kuna hatua za kufuata ili kuweza kuwezesha jambo hili. Cha kwanza kabisa uwe na application yenyewe. So, mimi na suppose kwamba uh, this is my application, application ya Android ambayo ni application ya, ya ya Android of course. Na kila sehemu ambayo ina address ya local host. Unaitoa ile address ya local host, unaweka address ya online for example hapa na address ya local host nitaitoa na hapa na address ya local host nitaitoa kwa sababu kiangalia IP address ni IP address ya computer yangu ya, ya private IP address kwa nitaitoa na kwenye file la java ilo server connection hii IP address hapa nitaitoa kwa sababu gani hizi ziko zina zina connect kwenye local host kwa application hii inatumika locally nao unaenda kwenye host play store kwa hiyo nadiko nitakuwa niweke ni zile address za za mafali ya PHP ambayo ni host kuna online na database zitakuwa online. Okay so uh, objective ni how to host database online lakini how to link database with android application au web application how to link database in the android application. Uh, by using free domain name and free mysql database ambazo ni open source. Okay so Nitakuja Google uh, then Google tandika w000 then web webhost.com after then ndoje ku click link ya kwanza uh, then nitabonyeza hapa sign in ta click sign in okay by then ta login with Google ta login with Google account account ya Gmail so nita login kwa kutumia account ya Gmail so nita click link login with google and okay so now kwa sababu nilikuwa na account ya google nimesha login tayari 
Tukifika katika panel hii nitabonyeza hapa manage website. Manage website, okay? After clicking nitakuja katika navigation panel ambayo ipo pande ya kushoto nita click tools. Then nitakuja katika file manager, nita right click and then click open new tab. Database manager, right click and then open link in new tab. Okay. So new tabu zenye ndo hizi of course hii ni ajili ya website. Okay, so now we create a new database. So click in new database. Okay. So database name for example Android. Database name is Android. And sorry. Database username for example Android. Android underscore user username. So database name will be android underscore db name, okay? So the password, so just uh, show password, okay? So this that password ya mazanga kiki random. Kuweza kupata password ya mbwata kwa ni very simple. Zena uja kukopi password. Na copy password. So hii ni database password. Sena uja kufungua notepad. Sena open notepad. Okay, after then now you will paste here. So this is database data. Sorry, database pass password. Okay, so database password. Let me paste here. Okay, after then I click create a database. Okay, so database is now created now. So I save. So my database is here. Database is now created. Okay, so now we have a file manager. Okay, after then, uh, upload files. So my file is uploading my file at PHP. My file at PHP, I'm going to use hypertext documents. Of course, I'm going to use C, I'm going to use hypertext documents, htdocs. Then, here's the PHP files. So now, I'm going to upload it to public HTML. Okay. After then, I click the cloud icon, upload files. Then, I click on the docs. Now, I click on drop. Okay. After then, I click on select upload. Okay, now. So, I click on upload. Then, I click on the click on the of course, here on the database. Okay. So, database is created as you can see. Okay, so now you click manage, right? Then now you click PHP my admin. So now PHP my admin, na kuwa open D. So uh, PHP my admin na kuwa open D. So kina chofata sasa ni ku upload uh, database. Now PHP my admin here pa. So my database here pa Android DB name. So me me kwa na ID yuma. So na click my database. Click in my database. Here. Apple. So no table. So we need to import SQL file. So now we click a local host. Here is local host. Okay. Here is database. We click on my database. I'm going to depth. My database. Now four tables. Amazon is easy. Four tables. After that, we click export. We click export. We just export SQL file. Now we export the tables out. So now export. Then export what format? There is CSV for Microsoft Excel, JSON object. So now click export SQL. So click export. So exportation image has been completed successful. And now here image has been downloaded. Okay. So now we have to go to the database online. So now click import. Okay. After clicking import, so now we have to browse. Ku browse location na hilo file ambalo ni meli-download ambalo ni hili ya. Of course, ni meli-download. Lipo kwenye computer yangu. Kusabu, ilikuwa kwenye database ya local host. Ok, na hoja kuchuse file. Kuchuse file. Ok, so now here hapa. My database. Ambalo ni meli-download. Ito na click open, right? Ni uchagua file extension. .sql. Na kwenye za go. Ok. So now, in a execute watch tables, pamoja na uh, nikiji hapa, kwenye local host, where is the local host, okay, local host ni hapa, 
So kwenye local host hapa kuna triggers pia. So click kwenye triggers na trigger customer na installments. Click katika installment na trigger hii hapa ya installments. Naweza click edit kaiona trigger hii hapo. So zote so zinakuwa exported for zini trigger. So zote so zinakuwa exported. Sasa so, ngija katika online database ya benki click my database. Okay? So database inakuwa inakuwa selected nikija katika trigger nime click katika trigger nitaziona hizo trigger so manake hapa nilikuwa na trigger mbili nilikuwa na trigger ya cause kwenye triggers na trigger ya installment na customers so kwenye triggers na customer na installment so na hapa na kwenyewe of course customer na installment zimekuja trigger zetu okay so na kinachofuata ni kulinki PHP files and database. Link PHP files and database. So nakuja hapa katika hii hapa file manager. Then nakuja ku double click account info.php. Eh, account info.php. Okay. After then nakuja kubadilisha uh, connection parameters za ku connect kwenye database as well connection parameters sorry ni hili hapa account info.php okay so now connection parameters my sql i connect localhost root password is empty database ilikuwa inaitwa hivi database name so now no longer kwa sababu hii tume upload ilitoka kwenye localhost so now una copy na kuja kuieditia kwenye notepad so it is notepad notepad hii so hizi ni connection parameters connect to local host user is root password is default is empty for root is database name okay so now tuna change the database password in here hapa database password okay so now tuna eka hapo kwenye sehemu ambayo ilikuwa ni empty okay now so another parameter tunakuja hapa kwenye of course kwenye database manager so database name database name ni hii hapo So now tuna connect my database name hii or naweza nikaja hapa nikaja just nikaiselect hii hapa. Nikaiselect ni kai copy the same. Nakuja hapa kwenye parameter. Hii database now no longer ilikuwa ni ya localhost so tumepewa name ya database hii. So connection nyingine ufuata user user alikuwa ni root. So now tunakuja hapa. So database user is user ni huyu hapa. So now copy. Okay now so kuja hapa na ndio na na paste okay where is database host database host is hapa okay so database name database user database host hapa of course user ni local host inabaki inabaki kama ilivyo local host inabaki kama ilivyo okay now <coughs> so copy connection parameters ngoja kwa duplicate kwenye kila php file so unakuja hapa kwenye of course ni hapa file manager okay now so nakuja hapa na yondoa hii just remove okay okay after removing na i paste ile okay so my sql connect to local host user password and database name then save and close okay so uh baada ya kusave file la kwanza tumeedit la account info.php file la pili tunaloenda kuliedit ni file jingine la php na change password.php so now remove is local connection parameters kisha naje kuweka hizi okay so na save and close okay installments okay after then just na remove kisha na paste hizo okay then save and close okay login.php the same na remove then save and close okay then message message okay so remove then paste okay so save and close so unaenda kwenye application application inaweza kawa ni android or application inaweza kawa ni ya website whatever atakavyokuwa cha msingi tu 
Of course nikija kwenye application ya Android na class zinazohusikana na connection na class hii ya server connection.java kwa ni remove local address. So hii ni IP address ambayo ni private IP address na ilikuwa pia IP address ya computer zo. Kwa ilikuwa na connect kwenye htdocs directory. So ndana na remove naeka IP address ya ya server yangu ambayo ni host ma file. So IP address ya ma file of course nitakuja hapa kwenye file moja hapo tu kama ile account if.php nita right click nita click view. Okay? After then nitakuja ku copy mpaka hapa kwenye dot .com hapa kwenye dot .com hapa ndo nitakapoishia hii path kwa sababu hiyo ndiyo kama domain name domain name yangu ambayo ni free domain so nakuja hapa na hii paste hapo okay okay so now <coughs> same nyingine ni hii hii ni dashboard ilikuwa na fetch customer loans okay customer loans okay so now hii one access page inaitwa installment.php na ilikuwa kwenye local host kwa sababu ya IP address ni ya private IP address. So now na access is the same file la like storage.php dikiwa online huku. Okay, so now storage.php ili hapa. Okay, now so right click view. So now address yake ni hii hapa. Okay. So hapa inashindwa ku fetch kwa sababu haijapitishwa key yoyote. Ndio maana unaja kukuta hapo hamna kitu ya mna kitu kwa sababu mna kiyo yote iliyopitishwa. So nitakuja ku paste hapa instruments.php no longer kuwa kwenye local host na address yako ni hiyo hapo. So address tutasomea hivi. https android project 2024 00webhost.com design atalioral file. The same procedure to account info.java. So unaje hapa yes access account info.java Pause hii hapa view okay so account info.php copy na kuja kuileta hapa kwenye account info.php iliyokuwa ya local host na yeka yenyewe ya online so ilo file la login.php lita accessiwa na hii path hii of course zilikuwa so, hizo same tatu so now application yangu ipo kwenye position ya kwenda play store na user wanaweza kaitumia hii application kule kule Play Store, wanaweza ka download, wanaweza ka login, wakafanya registration, wakaona installments zao za loan, waka send request mbalimbali, waka send uh, complaints zao, waka login, waka log out, wakaangalia taarifa mbalimbali as well as database itakuwa online, wanaweza ka access database hiyo kupitia Android application. Not only Android application at a web application pia okay so hivyo ndivyo ambavyo unaweza kai host database so of course yani ya course unaweza kai host database kutoka katika local host kueleta huku online so inapokuja online na kuja nzima nzima na kila kitu ambacho kinahitajikana kuja kitakuja okay so katika video inofuata tutaje kuona namna ku customize a PHP me admin kuwa na theme kama hii of course hii ni theme uh, nikija katika home hapa hii ni theme tu just unakuja hapa unabadilisha hii theme ilikuwa ni metro so naanza ngachagua blueberry utaona na change so click home so PHP me admin sasa hivi me change umeona so nikiklik kwenye home nabadilisha tu hapa kwenye theme kuna theme nyingine ni ya bootstrap Umeona na kwa kama na bootstrap fulani. So ukija kubonyeza customers hawa utaona table inaonekana kama ni ya bootstrap hivi. Eh, so nirudishe ile ile home. Ah, nirejeshe ilikuwa ni metro. By default yenyewe inakuwa hivi. Inakuwa ni uh, of course ni hii. PHP my admin inakuwa hivi by default. So hii ni metro. So hizi ni, ni just a plugins ambazo unazo download hii. Ukisha zi download ndo zinaonekana hivi. Mpaka uzi download ndo zitaweza kuonekana hivi. Okay.